Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Um, and take what fits, leave the rest. Okay, Virgos. So let's get into this love series episode. What's up next? For you, you've got kisses, unconditional love, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, oh, God, this better not be a repeat of yesterday. <laughs> Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Okay. Oh, one more, please, for Virgo. One more. Okay. Palm tree, flexibility, growth. Okay, a couple of different messages here, Virgo. So, you know, I mean, someone's going to be like, uh, overall, <laughs> it's in his kiss. <laughs> I'm not singing that song because I don't remember. That's so old. But um, yeah, I feel like somebody here um, is falling in love with you and okay is it the person from yesterday's reading if you didn't listen to it it could be um but this person is very codependent they're obsessed with you um they're in falling in love or are in love um they just want to kiss you okay and this is like this palm tree this is like permanent this is permanence endurance i mean i don't know virgo i just feel like there's somebody showing up here in june who, um, yeah, is like permanently in love with you. Okay. That's crazy, but let's see. Let's see. Well, that's not crazy, Virgo. You're lovable. Okay, let's see. Okay, releasing your ex for your soulmate. Okay. So, looks like somebody's connecting with a soulmate in June and is releasing an ex. Okay, let's see. And also loving the self first. There's a lot of mixed messages going on here. So um, the first message I am picking up here is there is someone who is like addicted to your kiss, addicted to, you know, it's like really, I feel like just, they can't get away from you. Like they can't, they have like this block. Like I feel like, there's someone, I don't know, maybe you'll meet this person coming up in June. Um, somebody lets go of an ex for you. That's the overall message. I don't know 100% if it's the person from yesterday. I'm not getting the narc thing vibe here. But I do feel like, like a kiss that occurs between you and someone else in June. Th like that's enough for someone. They're like, that's it, I'm hooked. Permanent. I'm not, that's it. Whatever needs to happen, I'm flexible. You're my soulmate. I'm letting go of my ex, like, finally. Or this gives someone a boost to try to, like, finally be like, okay, I don't, I'm done with the ex. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of like that energy here. All right, let me, see, let's get into this. I want to see what else. You know what? I probably shouldn't use these cards because I didn't put bikinis on them. I can't remember. Well, I'm doing it anyway because I'm called to do it. So you two can just kiss my butt okay wow you got the hangman again hmm pisces energy here um yeah i feel like someone again that's similar uh, this is kind of like bits and pieces from yesterday's reading though but i feel like someone here is just thinking about you like they have you in your mind and i feel like they're, they're patiently waiting for something here let me see like they like they're laying down like you know what I mean like I kind of said that yesterday like they're laying on their bed they're laying on the couch they're out on the hammock and they're just thinking of you and okay they're letting go of another person putting themselves first this is not the narc person okay but it does have some elements of yesterday. They're letting go of another person. They see how much you're loving yourself, how much you're respecting yourself. They're finding you to be more romantically attractive in June. Um, somebody could live where there's palm trees as well. Let me see her. Okay. 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 Ok
Okay. Wow. Yeah. So I feel like someone here is like, they're breaking up with an ex or they're finally letting go of an ex kind of situation. And, and or a third party. So there might have been somebody else involved as well. It could be two other people or you and this person. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Well, I feel like this person just wants to build a family or bring blend the families together um, and like put some roots down. For some, it could be have a child. Yeah, this person's like watching you, Virgo. Like they've got their eye on you and they're trying to like get the goss on what's going on with you in your life. Like they really have their eye on you. They're asking other people about you talking to other people, asking questions. Like they're very curious what you have going on in your life, who you're talking to. If you have an ex or if you're um, letting go of someone or you're, you've released a third party, I, I feel like there's some spying energy here. Maybe they see you, um, see you somewhere in June. It could be like in real life or on social media. They see you somewhere or they, they, they you might have come across. They might have, you might have bumped into them before and they go back to that same place where you're at. And I just feel like there's some kind of connection here in June where a kiss, there's a kiss that gets made. And it's like, I don't know, unicorns, stars, sprinkle, <laughs> sprinkles, you know, just like a whole like firework kind of it's fireworks. I keep hearing that share song. It's in this kiss. It's in her kiss. I don't know, Virgo. I feel like this person, there's like a boom from some kind of a kiss. Let me see. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Look at that. The high priest. So I feel like someone also, maybe they were married to another person and they're going through a divorce. Uh, breaking up a relationship, a long-term relationship, I see here. Uh, let me see. Taurus. We do have Taurus, and we have Pisces thus far. This person, like, I feel, Virgo, like this person, they, they want to be committed to you. That's what I'm hearing here. This person wants to, wants to be committed to you. They want to be in some kind of... I don't know if it's so much sacred union, but it feels like conformity. You know what I mean? Like they want to meet your expectations. They want to meet you like what you need or what you want, like in something committed, like commit to a relationship here. Even if that means like spiritual, okay. So you've got judgment here. Wow, Virgo. Um, I mean, I see this person completely opening up to you. For some, this person, they're getting some karma. I have to say that, that's kind of a side message. This person I feel like is getting some kind of karma, you know, but there's also like this reconciliation as well. They might have had somebody broke up with them or ended something with them, okay? But this definitely feels to me like this is a big revelation. I feel like somebody here, they connect with you or they, you know, you guys connect. Like I said, there's some kind of kiss get, gets made and, you know, this spark. I mean, if the page of wands shows up, then that's just going to confirm it for me. But I feel like this person, they feel this spark and it's, they just know. They just know. Okay. And for some of you, this can be a reconciliation with you know, someone who's released another person that they were connecting with. Let me see what else is going on here. What else can you tell Virgo?
Oh, okay, Virgo. Well, that's, I mean, come on. <laughs> You're getting some kind of proposal from somebody, a love proposal, a romantic proposal. In June. I know, I know, I know. We're already in, gosh, what are we in the second week, the third week of June already? Or the second full week of June? Um, for some of you, I feel like June 20th will be a significant day for all of this to occur. Yeah, you're, this person wants to come in and, you know, seriously offer their cup of love to you. Like, make some kind of, like, this is down on one knee kind of energy. Or propose some type of marriage or express their love to you. Tell you, um, like, it's a romantic proposal. Tell you how they feel. Okay. So now we have the harf, um the emperor. This this is like incredible. Could be an Aries, but yeah, this person's taking a huge um I want to say like I don't it's not a leap of faith. It feels like this this person like they know what they need to do. And it's because of some kind of kiss. I just feel this kiss energy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Virgo. I feel like this person comes to realize that you are their soulmate. And it's not like that twin flame crazy energy, you know, that twin flame stuff. This this to me feels like like they they've met that like you're the person for them. Okay? You are the one for them. And they may even like <laughs> talk to you like I see someone talking to somebody's father as well so if somebody's I don't know like if there's a connection to a a father or um an elder and asking an elder very traditional this person comes in very traditional like this is how they operate right this is that's what this feels like to me is someone who's very traditional in at least that's how they're coming in this way. Like this person is not, you know, they're not a page. They're not a, a queen or a king. This person, or even just a knight, you know, they, like this person shows up as a major arcana, the emperor, someone who is uh, a leader. You know what I mean? And I feel like they just fall in love with you. And it causes them to release an ex. There's just something that this person, they, like they're watching how you love yourself. They're watching how you take care of yourself, um, how you're like respecting yourself. And it's making them more romantically attracted to you, which is why I feel like this they're coming in this way. Okay, this person may have been watching you for a while. You might be communicating with them, but I do see them initiating some type of communication with you in June around the 20th in regards to um, this connection, you know, dating, getting together, making a romantic proposal or offer. And then there's this kiss that happens and this person's like boing, like they realize that you're the one that they want to be with almost to the point where they can't restrain themselves. Like they, they, and they put a block against anybody else. Like they're done. They're not like they meet you and it's done. There's no need to look any further. That's what I feel like this energy is. Okay, let me see. What else can Virgo know about this situation? Okay, I was asking. That's crazy. Okay, I was thinking to myself to ask if this person had children. So I will say they do pay for like supporting children okay for some they could have children that they pay support to um i do see them being single okay um and if they don't have children then this they give um they give money to charity uh, some type of charity for children or they support uh, they do some type of charity work for children okay all right there it is page of wands that's what i was saying so yeah this person crazy will be crazy smitten with you in june crush that spark that's it the enthusiasm for some of you this is your ex i will say that for some of you this is your ex 
who's been paying support to children for some of you, you know, who have the young children for some, yes. Okay. Not all of you. I know for some of you that like, I know there are some of you that don't have an ex or there's a situation that that's not feasible. So that wouldn't be your message. It would be more along the lines of this person is just very charitable and generous and they give back to the community and they give back to causes and things like that. A lot of things with children. They may also have, um, two boys and a girl I'm just hearing or just a boy and a girl and also though this feels to me like with this page of wands like I said this person like they call like call they'll be calling you incessantly reaching out to you all the time wanting to see you and just mostly wanting to like just kiss you like I feel like this person just wants to it's falling in love, but it's not that, it's not like yesterday's energy, okay? This is what I was talking about when I was giving you that reading yesterday. Remember I said, all of this would sound great if it wasn't for the narc word that was there. Well, the narc, the narc word is not there here. So this feels to me like a real kind of thing. I don't see love bombing going on. I see someone here who's very romantic, shares their feelings, you know, or just at least is very affectionate. I see like heart on the sleeve kind of energy. It's not cringy or anything like that. Like I don't feel like they get nuts, but I do feel like they, they have like, they become very smitten with you in June. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? Oh my goodness. How much fun for you, Virgo? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So I've got the Queen of Cups, okay? So for some also, we do have, oh, wait a minute. This is the first, this is the first uh, court card actually. Okay, so could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, definitely. It's a feminine or masculine energy could be both something we do have tendency to have a little bit mixed in but the queen of cups is very nurturing and loving and caring okay and is not usually one that gets they could be on the cusp like march 19th or the 20th i'm just hearing that like a, it could be a pisces aries cusp for some of you um hmm not cancer leo and not Scorpio Sag. Yeah, as far as a cusp goes, I'm feeling like someone who's got some Pisces Aries in them. But um, I feel like this person, they're very focused on their feelings, although they are uh, quite grounded. You know, they stay in touch with reality, definitely. But they are, like I said, hard on the sleeve kind of energy, how this person comes through. And I just feel like Whatever kind of breakup or divorce or loss or um, heartbreak or like even maybe some depression, this person gets a wake up call when they connect with you in June. Yeah, like the, I don't know. There's some something to do with kisses, whether it's actual kisses <clears throat> or <clears throat> excuse me, could even be like. I don't know. I'm just seeing kisses. It could be like digital kisses or actual kisses, whatever it is. Like this person just becomes completely smitten with you. Okay. Definitely. Okay. A little bit more. Tell me a little bit more about this emperor. Because the emperor is like, they have their, this person has their eye on you, Virgo. They're watching you. They're asking around about you or trying to get information on you. They could be like punching your name in the computer or trying to find out like a little bit more about you. Very inquisitive. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's the world. So there is definitely looking you up online here. This person's looking you up online. I don't care. I know some of you, um, you say you're not. Um, on social media, that's fine. They're still going to punch your name. And if you've got a digital footprint or if you've ever had one um, in the past, um, it's probably still there. They might be doing a background check. I know, I know, but they're vetting. <laughs> um, and I don't think it's like to find out any bad. Uh, they're not hiring an investigator or anything like that. I just feel like they're trying to kind of just get some information a little bit of information to see if like you're married or if you're single or um 
and what kind of work you do. Like, you know what I mean? They're just doing like a behind the scenes vetting. And, um, I, you know, I don't think there's really anything wrong with that. I mean, if you have something to hide, then, uh, yeah, maybe that would suck for you. But they might be looking up to see if there's any, <laughs> you know, some of those nasty, nasty things, you know, on, on your background history. You know what I mean? You know, um, Amber Alert stuff, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, I feel like this person, that's what the emperor is all about. Like, they're very military. They could be in police. They could work in, um, like, be invest, like, investigator, military, police, or something like that. Um, just trying to find out more about you, just to make, kind of make sure. But, it, it, but I don't feel like this person would be doing this if they weren't so smitten with you. Like, I mean, this person... Like it's, I don't know, you guys go on a date or you connect or you talk online or something. There's communication online as well. They want to know more about you. Yes, very inquisitive. Oh, okay. So this could be someone that you have children with or that you had kids with. Could be a long, long time ago. Okay, because I do have like a lot of kid energy here. Uh, some of you and a past ex from forever ago might be, you know, well, at least this person seems like they might be gaining um, interest in you again, okay? Um, and for others, this, this does feel like it could be an energy of somebody, you know, like I said, they do something with kids. They could be a teacher, um, they support children in some way. There's some type of connection. They just told me Switzerland. That's strange. But I'm I'm just kind of because I don't know. I just I'm seeing some blonde-haired babies here. But also, um, I feel like there is some kind of like they want you to meet their kids, or maybe if you're older, grandkids as well. Um, that energy plays out as well. And I I don't know, Virgo. I just feel like there's also for some of you a blast from the past. This could be someone, too, that you were friends with. Maybe you you guys, you, you might have been married, and this person was, and you knew each other, right? And then, I don't know, you split from your, your people, and then there's some kind of, like, reconnection happening here. Um, for some of you, that's the situation. This person has been looking you up, trying to find you, because they've... They've had a thing for you for a very, very long time, but they didn't want to approach you while you were with another person and while they were with another person. I feel like the exes are out of the, the picture here, okay? The exes are out of the picture. And maybe you guys were friends, okay? But I do feel if that's not the case, this person does, like, I see you two connecting. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I see you either reconciling or um, connecting and meeting up with this person, even if you were just friends or you knew each other before. Okay. I feel like this person, though, definitely is very intrigued by you, Virgo. Crazily intrigued by you. Like in love. Okay, so they might have had another person if the Queen of Wands. Like I said, they're releasing an ex. And this person was just, they're like, no sustenance. There was nothing behind them. Um, they were all fanfare out in the beginning, maybe bossy or just kind of like had this. So I'm picking up um, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But also like behind them. Okay, nothing, desolate, warm on the outside, cold on the inside is how I feel. And um, also, if this was an ex that they had, they took them for all their money as well. Okay, this fire sign took all so, took somebody's money, it made someone broke. But I also feel like um, this person was just like poverty mindset. Like they just wanted a, empty inside. They just wanted all this attention. Okay, so I don't know. I just feel like the fire sign, the queen of wands here, like I said, masculine or feminine energy is gone, left out in the cold. That Your person is leaving this person out in the cold. There's nothing there. They want you. You are their soulmate. They want to be with you. 
and they're flexible. Whatever will work out will work out. I mean, this person's almost borderline obsessed, or at least becomes that way, borderline obsessed with you in June. And like, no holds barred. They can't restrain themselves. Okay. All right, Virgo. I mean, hey, <laughs> who is this person to you? Okay, yeah. So you're definitely going to be getting some sweet messages from this person online. To start, you might receive like, hey, how you been? Long time no see. Um, blast from the past. This could be someone you knew in high school, whomever. Um, there's a, This person's got new love on their mind, you know? They want to connect with you and... And you guys, I don't know. I just keep feeling like this big ass, <laughs> big ass, this big booty kiss happens. And it's like, what? You know, there's fireworks go off. That's how I feel. Fireworks. Someone confesses their love or tells you they've had a thing for you for such a long time. And that they're like crazy in love with you. And they, you know, they offer their cup of love as well. You know, very charming and a, a, like a very romantic kind of proposal coming towards you and I feel like either they've left their ex or the ex is out of the picture and then they find you or they connect with you and they're done like that just puts them over the hill right over the hump because then they realize that you're like it for them I mean it's tremendously romantic Virgo like you can't go wrong in June that's how I feel you cannot go wrong in June all right, let me see what the messages of love are here, Virgo. Because I don't know, Virgo. Oh, look, the first thing I just saw, friendship. A friendship that's leading to more. So for some of you, this is someone that you had a friendship with. I don't know how long back, but yeah. Oh, wow. And chemistry. And there's a mutual attraction happening here between you and this person. Okay, you got strong, strong chemistry. And it looks like now there's compatibility because there's no X's in the picture. No X's in the picture anymore. Let's see, what else does Virgo need to know? Okay, yep. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So yep, this person has released you you have released this is two people who are free from all past relationships and baggage and they have this great big amazing kiss they get together and then boom it's on this almost sounds like a singles and for some of you this could be somebody new coming in but for others this is a blast from the past you might not have ever dated like i said you might have just only been friends but for others, maybe you did. You could have had children with them or you just someone that you dated before. Or you were in a relationship with before. Yeah, there was some distance, time apart. Definitely. Bringing two people back together. You always hear stories. People who, like sometimes you guys will call me and say, hey, you know, I'm reconnecting with someone that I was in like the eighth grade with. And we haven't seen each other in all this time. And this person's... Uh, they're a widow now and you know me too and you know we've always been had a thing for each other we've always been friends here and now your true love is already a part of your life so you have a connection to this person in some way like I I feel like you know them even if this is someone that you just happen to see you know at a coffee shop every day and you there was never anything there somebody's very smitten they have always had a thing for you Virgo always <laughs> always um i just want to ask one question why someone didn't come forward why didn't someone like what was what was their hidden energy towards you virgo okay they've wanted to tell you how they felt about you for a very long time like really truly tell you and they're coming in to tell you now in june to really truly remember i said confess their feelings they're coming in to tell you how they truly feel how much they love you they are keeping their eye on you they you know they're just smitten i just can't with that page of wands this is just someone who's like this is the crush you know they've just you're all they think about thoughts of you constantly in their head 
um, have been for such a long time. Let's see what the Chinese signs are. Because if you went to school with this person, not college, but like regular school, um, you might have been close in age. So you could be like a year apart, you know, or six months or something. So if this sign shows up, it might be similar to yours. Okay. But not necessarily. All right. For others, it's just, you may know them when I call their Chinese sign. So tiger. Okay. Year of the pig. Year of the snake. Year of the monkey. You guys might also have mutual friends as well, and you might know each other that way. Okay, rabbit, rat, ox, ox again, and a goat, okay? So let's move on here, Virgo. I'm happy for you, I think. I think so. I do think that June, around June 20th, Something to do with a kiss. That's going to set the ball rolling. Okay, let's see what your moon pie messages are. Hmm. Okay, non-committal. All right, so again, this might have been something where it was a non-committed relationship before, for whatever reason. Committed to other people, or just it just was like an energy of no we're just friends but no that feels like something was changing there was a lot of indecision um during this time okay all right and somebody didn't want to be hasty that's what it was here someone did not want to be hasty they were delaying coming towards you for a really long time and i think it's because they might have been confused because uh, you maybe you had someone or they had someone like I feel like that's changing here something there's something ending they're they're dropping or have been dropped by somebody else and you're uh, not involved with another person either I know this isn't going to be a message for everyone but it's for somebody here let me see what else okay wow here's the risk there's the fool Starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Don't overthink it. So there is an energy here. Like whatever this person, they were noncommittal, undecided. They were delaying. Now they're taking a risk and coming towards you in June. Remember, June 20th. Didn't I say the 20th? I think I said the 20th. Would be like the third week of June. And that would be on a Tuesday. I think what's funny, I always say, life happens to you on a Tuesday afternoon when you least expect it. You're just, I don't know, you're bringing out your garbage or you're just raking your leaves and boom, Tuesday, life happens. And it's like a powerful, it has a powerful impact. And that's what I feel like is happening here. A powerful impact sometime around June 20th. Yeah, I did say June 20th. Okay. Let's see if we can get some names or some randoms here. Okay. Okay. Somebody's definitely African. Okay. Or from Africa. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay, somebody is an athlete, or I guess another term would be a jock. I'm also picking up Jacques, like Jax, J-A-Q-U-E-S. How do you say that? Jacques, Jacques, like French, maybe someone's French, or has like a French sounding name. Um, okay, so we're getting the letter C. We have the letter N as in no, Nelly. Uh, Neve, Nicholas, um, and the letter K as well. Okay, somebody's got blonde hair. Beautiful, almost platinum, like very beautiful or golden blonde hair. Okay, so uh, I don't know if it's Roxanne or Riz. 
And then I'm he I'm hearing Rachel. Is there a Rachel? And I'm also hearing Renzi. I think Renzi or Rienzi. Okay. <laughs> Again, I keep getting George, Georgia. Okay. So somebody's name starts with this, with an O, like Octavia or Olivia or Oscar. Name starts with an O. Okay, we have the letter A. Amy. I'm hearing someone's from Arkansas. Um, also, Amy or at Annie, something like that. Okay. And is it Chuck? Oh, wait. Wait, now they're saying Canuck. I don't know what that means. Canuck. Canuck. Uh, whatever. I don't know what that means. Canuck. Okay. And I'm picking up Zhu. Z-U or Zhu. Or Z-H-U. Or maybe somebody's going to a zoo. Or at a zoo. H-H-Z-U or Z-H-U. I have an H here again. Okay. Yeah. Big zoo vibes. Somebody's going to a zoo? Are you going to the zoo? Somebody going to see some dolphins or something? Um, also, okay. So there's a love letter. I'm seeing a, a love letter. And I'm also seeing an envelope with a kiss on it, too. Okay. Has somebody received or someone sent? And that's kind of making... If someone received a love letter, um, if you sent one, they got it, and they like, boom, you're, you're it for them. Okay, you might receive a love letter and they express their feelings and there's something to do with a kiss um, connected to that. Oh, did I break my nail? Holy moly. And uh, hold on a minute. Definitely like a deep friendship of some sort. I do see a friendship. Let me see. Also seeing like a magic show too maybe there's like a carnival or something or a magic show someone um gets into like magic a magician jugglers dancers um some kind of event of some sort like a circus kind of thing okay um they're giving me the the name joy and they're saying joy I'm also seeing uh, like desert sand. So somewhere where there's like a desert, somewhere lives where there's a desert or a lot of sand. It could be a sandy beach, but I'm not picking up any water. It's mostly like, you know, sand. <laughs> sand, y'all, it's sand. Sandy, baby. Hi, 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 hi. Here we go. Jukebox time. What's that from? What is that from? Okay, they just gave me like this strange, um, not strange, but beautiful vision of elephants. I'm seeing elephants. What's with like the zoo and that circus and the animals <clears throat> and the theater show? There's some stuff going on with all that. Also, somebody lives where I see that the sky is extremely starry. Like there's stars everywhere. You can almost see the Milky Way. There's an area. Someone lives near that area, which is probably extremely beautiful. I've never seen anything like that before. Not where I'm from. We don't. It's too hazy here. There's too much fog. <clears throat> Excuse me. But also, um, is there a name Joe? There's always a Joe. Isn't there always a Joe? Joseph, Jose, there's always a Joe in these readings. And I'm seeing like a lot of glitter as well. Like a lot of glitter. Glitter, like, I don't know, makeup glitter or just like 
glitter you pour out or somebody's pouring out sugar do it glitter like sugar can be glittery i think it's a little glittery crystals there's crystals like white crystals hmm. seeing two guys having a conversation as well and they're uh they're talking about like some sporting events. Two guys talking about sporting events. It's like a young guy and an older guy. <clears throat> I don't know if they're related or not, but they're they're talking about the game. I don't know, maybe it's the Vegas, I don't know, hockey or something. Talking about they're talking about a game. It could be you and somebody else. Maybe you're either you're the older or the younger. Um are you were just doing that or you're going to be doing that talking to somebody later about a game i don't know i just keep getting the game okay let me see let's get your numbers okay someone's 55 and we have the number 410 also 411 remember somebody's trying to get the 411 on you we got virgo scorpio capricorn scorpio's there twice um someone is 49 uh, someone is 39, someone is 40, okay? Somebody's birthday is November 10th. Okay, so we've got September 8th, the 11th, the 12th, 16th, the 20th, and the 5th, okay? And what do we have for... August birthdays. Okay. Let's see. September. Oh, August 31st is showing up here. August 31st. Um, someone's also 33. We also have the number 310. We have 710. And 5... One, two, one. Okay, Virgo. So I'm going to leave that there. If I didn't say anything that resonates for you, don't worry. If something at all did not resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your message. If the whole beginning message resonated for you, then that's your cue that it's for you. Okay, let's just get a couple of charms and see what we have here. Okay, so we're starting with... I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride it now. Someone rides a bike, okay? Or is a biker. Very significant. Someone rides a bike or is a biker. So they, you could be like one of those race. Uh, it could be racing bikes or long distance biking. Um, there's some connection to a bike or, or a motorcycle, Okay, and this is also about movement, you know, singular fashion, movement. Um, someone, um, there could be travel, you could be maybe going somewhere on a bike or traveling somewhere on a bike. Maybe you're listening to this, you're out riding your bike, or maybe you're on like an exercise bike, something along those lines. Okay, and do one more here. Well, that's funny. Now you've got a rhino. <laughs> I know that's a term that's being used politically today. So maybe that's you. <coughs> maybe you fall in line with that. But um, gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh, man, this is amazing. Okay, something to do with a rhinoceros. Are they extinct? Maybe a white albino rhinoceros? There's something here about ry rhinos. Wow, you guys. Okay, so you also have this beautiful purple and white. Um, I don't know. It looks like a fan. I've never seen a purple and white clam. This looks like a fan. Okay, somebody, I don't know, something to do with a purple and white fan. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me, maybe I should try uh, a card that has like, I don't know, nothing on it. What do you think? Hold on. Something a little easier to see. But yeah, it's a it's a purple and white fan. So something purple and white. It doesn't have to be a fan, but somebody might like those two colors, um, purple and white together, for sure. Maybe you are out on the beach and you find some seashells that have purple and white colors. You might. And also, um, 
just want to tell you guys something. Um, at the same time, you did get these two feathers. Birds of a feather stick together. Okay, we've got wings. Okay, they just said... <laughs> Somebody likes Aerosmith? <laughs> Somebody likes Aerosmith. Okay, so these two wings, and I do feel like... It's connected to this swan. <laughs> a very beautiful connection here with the swan. And all this like, I don't know, angel wings or angel feathers. If you find a feather, the other person has also found a feather. Very odd. And I feel like that's going to be revealed to both of you when you connect. Like a conversation happens and I don't know, maybe you guys have like a spiritual conversation or something along those lines and someone says, oh gosh, yeah, I found this feather in the weirdest place the other day and the other person says the same exact thing. It's like you're both meant to be. And the one last thing I want to say here is you do have Christmas bells. And if you listen to yesterday's reading, there was a lot of Christmas energy. Now I am feeling December, I'm sorry, Jan. I'm sure June 20th is significant, but the bells will be ringing at Christmas time for you guys. Wedding bells, Christmas bells. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You better get prepared, Virgo. You better get prepared for a fun time around the holidays, parties, events, and having fun because I feel like you and this person are going to be something's going on here. Virgo, all this lead up to love. And someone here that's just been dying to be with you like forever and ever and ever. I just want to get a couple extra messages here before I close out. Even though I usually end there, I just felt the need. Oh, look, finally coming home, okay? Uh, somebody might be relocating or moving residents, two people buying a home together for sure. Look at that cat in the window. Does some, some of y'all have one of those twerking cats? The dude's standing there like, what the hell is that cat doing? <laughs> See that guy standing there in the at the door? Somebody's going to be knocking on your door, Virgo. Definitely. Hey. You want to buy some Girl Scout cookies? Oh, by the way, you free? <laughs> okay. Yeah, somebody could be trying to make some money. But you're definitely going to have some good luck and money, too. In June, for sure. Your finances, wealth, beautiful energy coming towards you. I love this, Virgo. I'm so happy for you. You well, well deserve this. Let's see what else. Is there anything else Virgo needs to know here in regards to this? Yes, yeah, somebody's going to be courting you. Courting man, courting woman. Someone professional or in some kind of a uniform. And I told you that, like with that... Emperor, someone who sits in a, a, some type of professional, could be a fire fighter, police, um, they could, maybe they're corporate or something. I mean, really showing up dressed to the nines. And if that doesn't sound like someone that you know, um, I feel like you're going to be kind of surprised. This might not be someone that, you know, maybe during their every day, they're just in kind of like sneakers and shorts and or, you know, workout gear, like a baseball hat, you know, male or female energy. But I feel like this person's going to be showing up, like, well-dressed. Because every girl's crazy about a sharp-dressed man. All right, you guys. I am totally 80s out here with the music. Name that song. Every girl's crazy. She's got legs. She knows how to use them. Oh, yes, there you go. True love, an honest connection, pure love, Virgo. This is going to be the uh, picture for the thumbnail because this is amazing. True love coming in, coming at you, Virgo. Be prepared. Don't be scared. Be prepared. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to leave the reading there. Super, super fun. Hope you enjoy that. Tomorrow, come back. We'll have your weekend outlook in love for... June 16th through the 18th. And um, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, go ahead and book with me. There's a link in the description box below. If you can't afford to book a reading with me, you can always become a member of my channel, $9.99 a month, and you can pop in on Sunday's live streams. 
post your question in there with me and I will answer and give you some insight on some stuff you want to know. 33 cents a day. All right, you guys have a fantastic day, night, evening, make good choices, be happy. And thank you to the moderators, all of you, Persephone, Melly, Jason, Steve-O, Steve-B, who am I forgetting? Is that everybody? If I forgot anybody, please forgive me. I know, I don't think I did. I hope I didn't. But if I did, if I forgot you, just say, say your name and then I'll, I'll give you a shout out in the chat. <laughs> Charity? I don't know if Charity is still here with us. And yeah. All right. I'm out. I'm, I'm rambling. Love you guys. I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>